The Infant's Prayer by Lydia Sigun The West had shut its gate of gold upon the parted sun, and through each window's curtained fold lamps glimmered one by one. And many a babe had gone to rest, and many a tender mother's breast still lulled its darling care, when in a nursery quiet bound the fond affection circled round I heard an infant's prayer. Yes, they had knelt, its chill face upraised of earnest air, and well devotion's heaven-born grace became a browser fair. But seldom at our father's frown such blessed and happy child is known so painfully to strive. For long with tearful ardor fraught, with supplicant and lip besought, please God let Lily live. And still the imploring voice that flow, the little couch beside, as if for poor sick Lily's woe, it could not be denied. Even when the balm of slumber stole, with soothing influence o'er the soul, like moonlight o'er the stream, the murmuring tone, the sobbing strife, the broken plea for Lily's life, mixed with the infant dream. So Lily lived, but not where time is measured out by woes, not where cold winter chills the clime, or canker eats the rose. And she, who for the darling friend in agonizing laugh that bent to pour the simple prayer, save from the pang the groan the dart, that wound the mourning parent's heart, lives with a lily there.